Hi folks, Irish Trekkie, back another Star Trek Discovery, the official Starships Collection issue review. This time we have the Klingon Raider. Very interesting design. Curious to see if it came in one piece, fingers crossed. And um, yeah, this is going to be a fun one, I think, because I am I am quite a fan of the ornate nature of the Klingon chips. And I know it's going to be in the comments below, people ragging on Discovery and the design, whatever. I'm not going to really entertain you. Uh, you like what you like, and uh, for me, I like the designs of these ships so I really want to see the ornate nature of this ship and um, if you like Discovery and Star Trek do check out the description box below for all of the playlists for my reviews to date and uh, for transparency the ship was gifted by Hero Collector no strings attached so my opinions are my own and uh, with that said let's just jump straight into this and uh, see what goodies lay inside the box shall we it's a big one it is a big box Here's our magazine, issue 18. Look at that lovely fanned out nature. Uh, Crew 2 Type Raider launched 23rd century. So we put that to one side and uh, see if the Raider came in one piece. So this does need to be assembled. Um, here's our base, upside down. We have, ooh, 2250. Mm -hmm. When was this in operation? We'll have a look in the in the magazine, but uh, we almost have a, a circa base here, which is quite nice. <laughs> uh, interestingly enough, this is the first ship that actually has a stud hole. We'll talk about that when we have a look a little bit later on. So we have to do a little bit of assembly here. Uh, it's heavy. It is heavy. Everything looks good. Um, does that go in? Is it going like? I think it, I think it'll go in like that. I'm assuming. Is that the way it looks like in the magazine? Nope, because it goes in like this. <laughs> I think. I'm I'm doing this for the very first time here with you folks. So I think these are gonna to need to be pushed in a little bit more. Some assembly required. I'm gonna to need to push them down more. So I'm gonna push these down more and we're gonna get up close and personal with this ship. And uh, there is your peg hole folks. So let's cut to that, shall we? Okay, I finally got these things in. Um, They might not actually be in the whole way. It's as close, like the, the tolerance is so tight and like when you have one in, you cannot get your fingers around really to kind of push these guys down any further. But they came complete. Um, there's no breakages or anything like that for such a delicate little ship. It's nuts. Um, so some assembly required for sure. Uh, getting up close, you can actually see in the canopy, which is nice. I do love this architecture here, this design. And the smoked out glass, you kind of remember like uh, Lorca and Tyler escaping um, from the Klingons. I'm hitting my uh, camera here. <laughs> look at the detail. If I can turn this around here so you can actually see. Look at the detail on it. Say something out of uh, an Aliens movie as well. It's crazy. There's the mountain point. The little peg. It's, it's hidden in there pretty well, to be honest with you. Again, looks like little engines here as well. So rapid speed, probably lightweight. Kind of high specific impulse, I'd say, for kind of getting around. Again, hugely insectoid inspired. And again, little ornate details here. Again, accentuated with the stark gold, um, gunmetal grey, light silver highlights as well. And then that fabulous fan, kind of almost like that scene in Jurassic Park where, you know, that little kind of... Uh, the, the, the dinosaur is going after your man and just the fangs pop out. He's like, tss, tss, you know, that's what I kind of get from that. And uh looks quite nice, to be honest with you. Remarkably heavy and solid. Uh, it's literally all die cast. These legs are plastic. Obviously, this is plastic and the canopy is plastic. But overall, pretty much everything else is die cast. And the level of detail, still knocking that camera. <laughs> is phenomenal on it 
it's a lovely ship um lovely kind of display piece you know it's quite ornate just like you know if you had this now side by side the um sarcophagus ship and that maybe like the beacon that's coming um they'd be a nice pair i would love to see your discovery displays at home so do check out the description box below for uh where i am on twitter and instagram mainly um i'm also on uh facebook as well but uh you'll normally get me on twitter and instagram uh, more than any place and uh yeah so let's see what she's like on the stand and uh we go from there so she sits quite nice on the base to be honest with you um the peg i think was a good call they may have been able to kind of clasp it onto the over the legs but there's such detailing on all the parts there isn't really like a flat surface for it to kind of grab into um but again it's the first ship that has had the peg and um when you have such a plethora of ships in the collection already that's uh, no small feat to be honest with you um it is quite splendid to be honest with you when you sit back and it's not in hand and it's just on a base it glistens in a lot of the light and there's such a lot of points of interest that's what i'm trying to say like my eyes are you know caught to the 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 sails the the the, the kind of plumage of the ship and again the detailing uh, across it and just the overall insectoid vibe to it as well really 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 nice ship i'm um, very curious to know what you folks think at home so sound off in the comments below okay let's see what goodies lay inside the magazine shall we Profile of the Klingon Raider and designing the ship. So again, capacity 2, Raider, 23rd century. Nice close-up shot to the ship itself. Again, very ornate nature on this. Um, everywhere there's detail, to be honest with you. So, uh, stowed aboard larger craft, the short range, uh, ra for short range Raider missions, these small fighters were just enough room for a pilot and a gunner in a cramped cockpit. Yet despite their size, Klingon Raiders played a major part in the Klingon war effort. So, yeah, man, they're vicious looking, to be honest with you. Uh, very insectoid, uh, for sure. Or, you know, it could be, could be some, something, you know, a large winged uh, organism on uh, the Klingon homeworld, you never knew. So, designing the Klingon Raider. So, designer John Dickinson combined an insectoid silhouette with a stunning surface detail to arrive at the final ship. So, yeah, I wasn't too far gone, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, nice car. I love John Dickinson's um, artwork, to be honest with you. Some radical designs here for uh, the Raider configurations as well. Again, variations on the battle cruiser. Um, as you can see, kind of popping up in some of the iterative design processes there so maybe more klingon classic klingon orientated as well so really went down a different route very alien uh when it comes to it um i, I say the masses will probably be happier if it was just another alien species rather than klingon but i dig it and um again just the the fantastic uh in some in some areas over the top detail but again shows the 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 depth of the Klingon culture that they're using when, when like if you think about a culture built not solely on war but it was heavily uh, part of their culture that they imbued their uh, machines and devices uh, with that ritualistic kind of nature um, to show all the different levels like the sarcophagus ship the cleave ship and so on and so forth as well so it's really really cool and um, dig the legs on this as well so we're going to wrap up here. These magazines aren't crammed with everything, but feel free to pause and read through. I don't want to spoil it for um, those that uh, haven't yet got this ship. Um, so coming up soon, we have issue 19, the Type C shuttlecraft. Really jazzed to get my hands on this one. And um, yeah, let's close up on the video, shall we? So one Klingon Raider reviewed. It just I'm just looking at it here. It looks lovely, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, sound off in the comments below, as I said earlier. Uh, what are your thoughts and opinions on the ship and Eagle Moss's representation of it? Is it a win? Uh, is it a win or is it a win? <laughs> not not biased at all. Um, thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the video. Uh, do check out the description box on your way to the comments 
where you can find again all the playlists that you can check out all of my reviews to date and um, also my social media links as well so do share your pictures of your collections and tag me in them I'd love to see them and um, if you're so inclined you can help support the channel directly via patreon and again that goes into uh, just making my videos as best as they can be so I really appreciate your support on that um, if you enjoyed what you saw today don't forget to hit that like share subscribe button and uh, as always again thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and I will see you in the next video so take it easy and bye bye